Hey guys, so today I want to share with you how I'm making my daughter a black cat costume for Halloween this year. It's something that is pretty simple, so if you don't have um, a costume for your child and you need something really quickly, you could probably make something like this. Um, it's pretty affordable. I think I paid about 20 bucks for everything. Um, and then of course just my time to put it together. So for the project you'll need a black shirt and depending on where you live you may want long sleeves if it's going to be cold on Halloween. Um, it will be cold here in Colorado. And then some black leggings. Um, or you could also use like leopard print if you'd prefer to do a leopard. I also got some of these pipe cleaners. I got the pack of 45 for one dollar at the dollar store and I will only be using the black. And then, let's see, I got this, um, it is like this like furry, fluffy boa, two yards, it's pretty long, you can see. I'm going to use this on a wire hanger, which I forgot to grab, so I'll go grab that here in a minute. Um, you'll need the wire hanger to make the tail. I also got the pack of headbands to make the ears and these were $1.99 for three and I did see that you could buy them in single packs but I believe it was cheaper to do the three pack and I figured I could just like make her something else because I have two girls so I'm sure we can find something to use them for. I got the ribbon so that we could make a like a tutu and kind of dress it up and the ribbon um, was $2.99. Um, then I got the tool. I think that's how you say it. It's glittery. You really can't, oh, you can see. It's kind of got a glitter to it. And I just got one. This was the most expensive item that I had to buy. It was $9.99. And I did use the 40% off coupon at Hobby Lobby, but maybe you could find it on sale and get it even cheaper. My Hobby Lobby, however, did not have it on sale the day that I went, so I just got it and use the 40% coupon. Then I got this, um, it's felt, and it was 33 cents for, I got a pink one, and I will not be using that entire sheet, so we will save it for another project or I can donate it to my daughter's kindergarten class. I also got a felt in black, also 33 cents. So those are the supplies you will need and here in a moment I will show you what to do with each thing and how to create the end result of a cat costume and the only other thing that you would probably need if you allow is makeup to make a cat face on your child and of course that can be as extreme looking or as simple as you would prefer like for your daughter or son to have on Halloween. My daughter will be in a full on cat face painted makeup that she can have because that is the only time we allow her to wear makeup and I will post a photo of her at the end um, so that you can see how we did it. All right, so stick around to see what to do next. All right, so we're going to start by making the ears on the headband. And I did forget to mention that you'll probably need some scissors, some hot glue or super glue if you don't have it. Um, I'm sure there's some other items you could use. And if you're really fancy or have lots of time, you could totally sew this, but I don't have time for that, nor do I have the supplies. So the first thing that we will be doing is taking a piece of pipe cleaner and you just need to wrap it around. So I'm going to wrap it a few times so that it stays and then just make a cat ear, make it as big or wide or thin, tall, however you would prefer to have this. So I'm just going to start by doing it like this and I can adjust it if I need to. I'm using two. Take 
this and cut out about the width that I need to go across. Right, and then you're just going to take this and you could use a pen if you want, but you're going to cut some triangles out so that they can be like the back piece of the ear. So it, you'll want to um, size it a little bit better than I did. And I'm just showing you for now, I'm gonna go back and redo this uh, off camera and then I'll show you the end, the end result. So you're going to take a piece as like the filler of the ear and then you're going to take and do pretty much the same thing you did here with the pink piece. So I'm just gonna cut the same size right now, but you'll go back and make it slightly smaller. Okay, so you're gonna take that and then you're gonna glue the pink piece to the inside of the black piece. And then you're going to have it like this. And you'll glue it onto there. You'll do it for both sides. And that will be the cat headband for the cat ears. I'm gonna go ahead and make mine and then I will come back on and show you how it looks. And then we will get started on the tail. Okay, so I'm back to show you the next step. Um, this is how her cat ears came out. Now, I did have issues with the hot glue. As you can see, it kind of got messy here. But I'm not too worried about it because at night, you're really not going to be able to see it. So it's not a huge deal. Um, I hot glued the pink onto the black felt. And then I hot glued the black onto, like, this piece and, like, the pipe cleaner. So there are her cat ears. Now we're going to work on the tutu part. So what I did was I took the um, ribbon and I wrapped it around my daughter's waist. And of course this is gonna be different for each child because they're different sizes. Um, so this will go all the way from front to back. And I tied two, you can see, I tied two knots on either side of the ribbon. And this is just to indicate where I need to stop with the um, tool. And then I also gave about mm, like six inches on both sides. I'm sorry, you could probably hear my kids in the background. They're home from school now. Um, but I gave some extra ribbon length. And that is so that you can tie it around their waist. And then I cut off some of this so that you could see how to do the next step. So you take this and you just, you know, gather it like this. And you could do it about halfway. And then you can just tie it around and I'm sure there's other ways to do it. This is just how I'm doing it because I'm, I've never done these before. So if I'm doing it wrong or there's an easier way, you could totally um, leave me a comment below and that way I'll know for next time. But if not, this is how I'm doing it. And you just keep going all the way around until you have it from each knot that you've tied. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll come back and show you how I did it and then we will do the next step which is the tail. So I finished up the tutu part and it was pretty easy, you just tie it all around and once you put it on and um, tie it around your child, you'll just want to, you know, make these all go down so they're not like sticking out like they are right here. So this is done. And the next step is to get a wire hanger, which I have here. 
Now, I was going to show you this step, but my husband has the tool that I need to cut the wire hanger at work. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it here and here. Sorry, out of the film there. Um, you cut it here and here, and then you're going to shape this whole thing into like a tail. <coughs> Sorry, you can hear Raiden coughing there. Um, so you're gonna do it like, you know, like an S shape, I guess. Um, and then you're going to take this fur, and I'm planning on, because once you cut it, you're gonna have a pointed edge and you really don't want that to become an issue with um, children, you know, like harming them or poking them. And the last thing you want is to have a, you know, four or five, six year old complaining that it's poking them in the middle of the dark on Halloween night because that's just not gonna be fun. So I'm going to wrap a good amount around the pointed part and you're just gonna wanna like super glue it or hot glue it depending on what you have. And you could probably even, I might do this, um, like tie, it's hard to see cause it's so, so fluffy, but you, I'm gonna tie it I think cause there's so much that it's, I'm not gonna run out. I'm gonna tie it around and I'm gonna glue it so it doesn't move. And then you just keep wrapping it around your hanger and then you can um, shape it a little bit better when it's done um, and attached. And then once you finish the hanger part, you will tie this piece around your child and you'll tie it in the back. And then you can take a little bit that's left of this and tie it to this. At least that's how I'm going to try to do it and hopefully it works out well. Um, I don't think it will be an issue. Of course it might be where I have to change it. Luckily I'm doing this with enough time that I can modify it if I need to. Um, and then if you don't have a wire hanger you could probably just get away with attaching um, just a little bit of this to um, the the back end of the tutu and you'll just have a tail that is more, um, you know, not so structured. Whereas I'm going to have a tail that like kind of almost looks like it's moving. Um, so that's pretty much what you do for this. It's really easy. So this is Raiden and she has her costume on now. This, as you can see, is with her cat ears on. She doesn't have any face paint at the moment. We'll do that next. She's wearing all black. You can see her with her tutu. You can't see the glitter right now because it's kind of um, something hard to pick up on the camera. Oh, you can kind of see it. And um, she has on black leggings. She has on black boots. Show everyone your boots. Oh, turn like this. Very pretty. All right, oh, turn around a little bit. And as you can see, she's got the tail. I tucked it in just so you could see what it would look like. Um, but I didn't do the hanger thing like I had mentioned. My husband needs to bring the tool home. But you get the general idea. And you could totally do this without um, the tail if you didn't want to do it. Because she, you know, she looks like a cat. Just like that. Okay, so I'm back and I'm ready to do her makeup. Now, I'm gonna show you, I found this. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it. I found this on Pinterest. So I just took a screenshot to um, kind of follow along with it. Now, you can totally use what you have on hand. Don't go buy anything if you don't have to, unless of course you don't have anything and you really wanna put makeup on a little girl. Um, now, if you're working with like an infant or a toddler, I would just say maybe just draw some whiskers on and call that good. But if you have a four through eight year old or older, then go ahead and put makeup on if you're okay with that. So I'm going to take some bronzer and um, I'm just going to apply some on Raiden to give her a little 
contouring or depth. Now I'm no makeup artist, so if I'm saying something that sounds completely crazy and makes no sense at all, then it's probably because it's crazy and makes no sense at all. Now I'm gonna take the blush that I have on hand and I'm going to get it on her cheeks. And for her, I actually might pick up something a little bit more pigmented and like a brighter pink because she has a darker skin tone than I do. Her lip area. I'm trying to show you. Like a little kitty. Now, um, like I said, once I do this on Halloween, it'll probably look a lot better because I'll be able to really get in there with the makeup and be right in front of her. Um, but you get the idea. And you can look on Pinterest to find other cute makeup tutorials um, for the same look. Um, but let us know what you think. Leave us a comment and let us know if you're gonna. Try this costume out for your child, or if you're making something else for your son or daughter, I'd love to know because DIY projects are really fun.